on, guys. Your boy Joe Kick Kick. You're coming again for the video. I want to talk about things that happen worldwide. So if there's an NBA Finals, I'm going to talk about it. Just one time. Just one time. That's it. One time. Anything that happens in the world that's worldwide, whether it's the Finals, it's just soccer, it's fucking ball. But, um, I want to talk about the NBA Finals yesterday. Okay? NBA Finals. So. There is no one on this team that could do a damn thing, okay? Nobody could do anything. You got Kyrie Irving has over 30 points. LeBron James has over 30 points. The highest other bid, the highest score on this team other than them two is Kevin Love with nine points. Fucking horrible. Kevin Love had a horrible fucking game. J.R. Smith had a horrible fucking game. Amon Shumpert had a horrible fucking game. And let me tell you, I know about J.R. Smith and Amon Shumpert because, number one, I live in New York. Number two, there's a shitload of Nick fans here. Number three, they both suck when they're on the team. They should have fucking left, which they did, and they still suck today. So when Golden State ended up getting Kevin Durant last offseason, the fucking Cleveland, Cleveland Browns, jeez. I never do basketball videos. Um... They should have got the Cavaliers should have went and got a marquee name. They should have. They should have copied them because what's going to happen is you get another player that can score thirty points, which he did. Which he did. Green only needs to pass the ball because he's a fucking balling fucking passer. Okay, you don't even need Steph Curry put up you know a, a double, whatnot. He gets twenty something points. Durant's putting up thirty something points. Clay Thompson's putting up thirty something. I mean, it's crazy. So you pretty much have an extra guy like Durant that's on that team that's putting up an extra 30-something points. It's fucking crazy. It's fucking nuts. What do the Cavs have? They, dude, they're try they were literally in that game the whole time. But honestly, dude, down to the wire, when Steph Curry and Durant were literally sitting, when they were literally sitting on the bench, uh, when they weren't playing, they want the rest of them. That fought, and LeBron was in at the same time on on the Cavs. So literally, that fucking cat, those Cavs could not hold the fucking couldn't even hold Golden State. They still shot two threes and a, a, and a dunk for a foul. So literally, they couldn't even hold them without Curry and and Durant playing. So. It's crazy. Kyrie Irving, by the stats, and I don't talk about I think stats are very good for basketball because I think they're very accurate. With the stats, Kyrie Irving plays like shit without LeBron just being there on the on the uh, court. Okay? Kyrie Irving has no shot at doing anything, and he's relatively young. So he really has no shot when LeBron is not there. That's like his dude. But Kevin Love is just missing so many fucking shots. Jared Smith is fucking not doing anything the whole game. He shot two free throws and missed one. I don't know what he did by the end of the game, whatnot. He was his first first time at the free the free throw line, whatnot. So I know what the Cavaliers have to do next year to beat Gold State. And I'm gonna give you the answer right now. The answer that you're gonna be getting is that the Cavaliers, if LeBron doesn't walk and go to Golden State. The Cavaliers have to go get a marquee name next year because they're not going to win, and they know they're not going to win. So if they say, oh, well, we'll be fine, no, you're not going to be fine. Who the fuck is Corver? Who the hell is that? I've never heard of that guy. Who is Corver? He made, what, what? He made a slam dunk uh, on, on the Cavs, and, uh, on, you know what I mean? He, made, he, he dunks the ball, and then all of a sudden uh, they, they were talking that, uh, oh, that's just like, I don't know, his 14th or his 4th or 7th. I don't know what the fuck it was. Like, he, like he's, he's never dunked, like, that's like his 7th dunk his whole career or something. Like, I was like, who the, fuck, who the fuck is this guy? Who the hell is that guy? I don't know who that guy is. I've never seen that guy in my life at all. But holy shit. All they got to do is add another name, and they're good. Get rid of J.R. Smith or one of the two. Just jump somebody. I don't even care. Because... J.R. Smith shows up when he wants to show up. Like last year, he definitely showed up. Because now it's a different story now. You're not just taking Steph Curry out of the game and it's over. Now you got two other people to worry about. Klay Thompson's always on fire. And now Durant, at 6'11", he could shoot threes. He could dunk. He could do everything he possibly He's a great, great passer. He could do anything you want him to do. Okay. They got to do something. And they got to... Um, 
They have to go get a marquee name next year. They got no choice. They have to. They got too many superstars on that team. There's no way they're going to beat them ever if Cleveland wants to repeat. There's no way. Okay? They got to go out and get one person. One person. And they'll win it. And they'll be... This is Golden State. This is the Cavs. To get that one person that the gold that the Cavs need to get to move up to this point to maybe be a little bit higher, they have to sign Russell Westbrook. They have to try their hardest, get his ass to the Cavs. Get his ass to the Cavs. They got to get his ass to the Cavs. Russell Westbrook. That's what my answer is. I don't do these videos a lot. Don't worry, I'm not. If it's a... A finals game or it's something that's big that's happening on TV. I'm going to just talk about it if I'm interested in talking about it. So trust me, this isn't going to go like, oh, well, the Cavs preseason. No, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm not a Cavs fan. I'm a LeBron James fan. And, and I love watching him play. So it's one of my favorite things. So, um, yeah. So that's what they got to do. A marquee name. And I think Russell Westbrook would be fucking, it would be great because then, then fucking it'll be Westbrook against Durant. I'll be like the main. They won't even give a fuck about LeBron James. But yeah, he's a great player, or whatever. But it's all about these two guys clashing together in the finals. So I'll see you guys later. Russell Westbrook going to the fucking Cavs. It's got to happen. I hope they fucking listen to me. And I hope they listen to. I hope they really just. Hey, we might have to get another person on this team that can actually put in more than fucking zero points. So let's do this. All right, let's just see what happens.